Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. Thanks for checking out my channel. Make sure to check out Mr. Popsit Live where I interact with everyone and answer all the questions in Mr. Popsit Fishing. Also, now we are active with MrPopsit.com. You can get merch to represent your guy. Thanks for popping by. Okay, guys, Mr. Popsit here. We have another inflamed cyst, likely, or possibly a bacterial abscess. Um, or like a carbuncle, but you can see it's kind of raised up there. A lot of discharge, most like history of cysts. So it most likely is a cyst, very tender to the touch. We can barely even touch it. So we're gonna try to infuse some lidocaine in there to get him numb and then we'll see how he does if we can open that up and get some contents out. So there's the light on so you can see. So we'll get him numb here. It's probably six to seven centimeters across and we give him some relief today. Okay guys, Mr. Popsit here. We have a very common thing that we see, which is an, likely an inflamed cyst. Could be a bacterial abscess, but we're, we're gonna find out. We're gonna do a culture, which we already did. We numbed him up, but we always talk about the acid base shift where Inflamed wounds are more acidic. So when we put an acid in, which is lidocaine, it doesn't take as well. So, getting a little foggy there. <laughs> so we try our best and get in there. Usually it's 70 to 90% reduction. We go very slow. This was a very tender one for him. So we're gonna go nice and slow, but I think we're gonna have a little pocket of um, cyst contents in there, most likely just from looking at it. So we see these a lot. We're gonna just open that up and push some, push some of that out and then see if it's a big pocket. We may do packing, we're gonna flush it and then get him on his way, feeling a lot better when that pressure is relieved. So here we go, you can see right here. Uh, it's a lot of inflammation. You can see common each pore there, we start to see what looks like whiteheads. That's a purulent discharge. Um, kind of coming, tracing up to the surface any way it can through each individual pore. It looks like right in the middle there is most likely where this is at. So that's where we're gonna make our cut, right along here. We'll get some gauze ready just in case. Little pinch, any pain? No, oh, he's good. He looks numb, that's good. Oh, right there, he's got a little. Yeah, this looks like a pretty dried out cyst as well. I think it's older. Okay, he's feeling a little? Good, a little pain. Here we go. Getting some purulent discharge out. I'm gonna give him a little numbing up there too where it's try and see where this is trailing out of. He may have a cyst up in this area too. It's hard to say. No pain? No. Good. He's got multiple pockets, so it could be a little lobulated in there. How about down there? Nothing? No pain? A yeah. little bit. A little bit, okay. A little burn. Okay. getting some fluid out there, which is good. There's a pocket up here that's draining. Well, he looks okay there. I'm gonna try and come right to make those communicate right there. So one little cut right across. And do you see what looks like some cyst contents there? Little pressure, just getting discharged so far. Yeah, it's a deep pocket. I can see there's some pus coming from way down in there. So when we can't get them all that numb, sometimes there's not much you can get out, but some of this discharge and then we get him on the antibiotic and it dries up the rest because he's very firm all the way around here. Not bad. I can see down in there to see if we see any cyst contents. Little pain? Pain. Okay. 
Yeah, he's so tender down in there. And I can already see this pus coming from this side as well. We're gonna see, once we tap the right pocket, it's gonna go. All right there, too painful, huh? So I'm gonna get him a little bit more deep wide over there. Right, and he's straight down. I think his pocket is up here, actually. Sting? No, not too bad? Yeah. Yeah. Put it down in there deep and see if we can get to it. Man, I'm not getting many cyst chunks here. I have a feeling this is just kind of a big older cyst it just has fluid around it and it's very dry i'm gonna try to cut right across there a little bit deeper very slow no pain a just a little yeah okay not bad though not a big sting He's pretty good. Getting towards the deep part here. You just let me know and I'll pull back. See if we can. There's a pocket I just kind of got into. I could feel. Yeah, not much. Just blood. It looks like part of the cyst right there at the surface even. Coming from all over. <laughs> that came out from up here. So he's got multiple pockets in here. Those are called loculations. It's just like kind of like a sack of grapes in there with all these different little pus pockets and it keeps coming out all over. Sometimes we have to do multiple cuts and see if we can get into them until we find the biggest pocket and then we can drain it. And I see a pore right here potentially. Any pain there now? Mm -hmm. Just a little pressure. Right Let's see if we have a cyst pocket up there. Good, mm -hmm. yeah. There's a big pocket up there, I can see. That's where the cyst was, I think. I'm getting some contents in that little pore that just kind of blew up. I think his cyst was up here and it blew out that way. So, I'm gonna make this top one just a little bigger. It this way. I just need to make it a little bigger so we can get in there with a Q-tip, something that's blunt. good pocket in there. I'm going so gentle here. Let me know if it's a lot. Yeah, it's a big pocket. Sometimes getting that blunt, not sharp in there. We might use a little curette too. A little bit there. Okay. Good. So we got some contents out of there on that one. Let's see here. two areas to drain I think it's gonna help him there's some cyst contents we got a little broken up with that q-tip but not much god that's all cyst particles right there so it's hard to say if this was a big cyst or a small one with a big reaction around it but you can see I can only push so hard because he's in, in discomfort having discomfort here I'm gonna try one last just a little curette in there 
Let's see if we can turn that around a little bit. Not pointed, but just kind of scrape a little bit from the walls here. Try not to touch the bottom. It's almost like the game operation. <laughs> if you go too deep, you're gonna get a stinger. Yep, that's good. If I can break up some, you can see we're getting some cis particles there. Just loosen up a little bit for them even. No big pain there, nothing, not bad. No, no. I just went into a pocket. I can feel a deeper pocket right there. There it is, it's part of the cyst. Good, if we can just get those dead skin particles and stay away from the bottom, should be able to break some of that up for him. Looks like this way is where he's mostly tender. Okay, let's see if we get out of there. There we go, now we're getting some cyst contents that I scraped apart there. I can see some cyst wall in there. We're just limited on how, how much we can squeeze here. We've got a lot of lidocaine infused in there. And see the cyst was more up here than down here though. Let's see if we can scrape a little bit more out and we'll flush that. And now he'll have some area that can drain, which is good now that it's open more. So it doesn't have to go to all those little pores. And you can smell that it is cyst for sure. So this is not a bacterial abscess. This is an inflamed cyst that's ruptured. We did a culture, we'll see. This way is a little tender, I'm not going deep there. But this is one that's gonna have to dry up, Reef the cyst will kind of reform and we'll do an excision across there most likely. He's had an excision in the past, it looks like from a big cyst. Oh, that's common. I'm getting chunks of cyst out of there at that curette, so. I just can't get to the bottom there because it's too tender for him. That's why they call it an IND, incision and drainage. So we're just trying to drain this fluid out, which takes the pressure off, get as much as we can easily without too much discomfort. And then put a pressure bandage on there, let that drain. There, we're getting a little bit more cyst. Good. Let that drain for a week or so, four to five days, and then we'll have them back and kind of check them. Let me see this good. Actually getting some out of there with this. You can see cyst particles right here. Good. And just cutting all the way across there. You can't do that because he's so tender. We're not going to be able to get in there anyway. So a lot of people say, why don't you just open it all the way up? All we need is about a centimeter, one or two openings, and that's going to drain really well. That's a deep, deep pocket, though. Right there? Okay. Stay away from that side. One more push. This there. There we go. It's probably about all we're going to get out because a lot of it's deeper where he can't really tolerate. That's good. That's a good example of why these are so tricky. Teeth or no teeth, just so I can grab. There's a little wall right here I want to grab. You can see that cyst wall right there. So it's breaking apart. Thank you. Perfect. Let's start tearing some of that wall out. All right, then. Feeling that? Just a little tug. Just want to 
to get the ones by the surface here. You can see that, it's all cis particles. Question is what he can tolerate from deep in there. There we go. I'm actually getting a decent amount now. We had that cure it. Oh, right there. Okay, we're gonna stop digging. Yeah, you feel all the way down here? Up here? Yeah. That's I'm not gonna go any deeper because I've given you six cc's right there and you're still feeling it. So I just wanted to get out what's right here by the surface for you. And then we're gonna just flush it and then put some packing on it. And we gotta get this inflammation to go down. There's quite a bit of cis contents right there, but I just can't pull from the bottom. This is the ones we just broke up right there. You have a fresh gauze there. Let's give you this. It's like a pretty good piece of sack right there. No pain right now? It's okay? Yeah. Okay. There, no? Mm. So I'm just getting the top part that we broke into pieces. The bottom part, if I grab that, he's feeling too much. And he's got a lot of lidocaine in there. It's not, it's not doing a thing, so. That's okay. He's doing okay, not grimacing or anything. There we go. There's a piece of sack I wanted to get there. We're gonna flush now. Let's see if we can flush out some of these other bits and pieces. That's good. That was the pore that exploded when we pushed, so that's why I cut there. I think that's about all we're gonna be able to get out. I'm gonna do just a little flush right in here. Oh, you okay? Yeah. Okay. Came out the side. You got it. Didn't get you? No. Just went in one and came right out the other. All over here. Man, these things are explosive sometimes. I was barely pushing on that too. It did flush some up to the top here though. Which is good. Alpha was almost in the line of fire there. And we'll show him when he comes back in, you'll see as the inflammation goes down, how, how much the pain goes down. Um, and we'll be able to numb him up and, and go back in there as it starts to reform. One more flush. Anything else up to the surface there? So you can see how that redness has gone down quite a bit. Okay. You can see these cyst particles it brings to the surface when we're flush in there. But like I always say, it's like eating soup with a fork. You're just gonna get these little bits. You can get them all day. You're not gonna get the whole cyst. We get what comes out easily. And we're gonna start the antibiotic. We're gonna try to put a little packing in here. I don't know if he'll tolerate much of it, but we'll try. 
and we'll have him back. We'll do 48 hours on Wednesday. I'll have him back. Pretty good piece of cyst wall here. I just don't want to pull it off the bottom. He's doing great. There we go. It's trying to come to the surface. a big piece of cyst wall. Alright, I think that's it. That's all we're gonna get, so we'll cut that out in here for him. Any more um yeah I could use bit more pressure and then we're gonna try and fill that pocket there for him right here and see how much he'll let us get down in there we actually had a little pocket of pus here we got some but this is where the cyst contents are and sometimes you don't know if it blows this way blows out that way exactly where the cyst was but we were able to find the pore oh. hurting there okay yeah. yeah we're almost full oh. Oh. feeling a lot there mm -hmm. right now okay yeah. yeah that bottom is just a live wire yeah. we're just gonna cut this right here and that's it and that's it and cut right there we filled it up let me do it we have a little bit left i'm gonna try and get in the bottom pocket just cut right in between here perfect Let's see if we can get some in there. that's tender there hurt that one hurts okay yeah so we're gonna just get a tiny bit and cut there too right there so that's it for both of those too much inflammation on this one for him that's good. We got quite a bit out. We actually ended up getting probably half the cyst out, I would say, which is good for one that tender. We're going to put a pressure bandage on here, and that's just a perfect example of that acid base shift. We've seen ones more inflamed that they didn't feel anything. And you see this one, it is just this whole area down here. I went deep, shallow. I put over you know, 10 to 12 cc's just right here and he's still feeling it and i think he's getting inflammation you know on some of his superficial nerves through here too because he when he came in he was talking about radiating pain down to the shoulder and that happens these things get so inflamed they push on the nerves underneath and can get regional pain in this area so we, we came out he's numb all the way out to here you can see this discoloration we put quite a bit in and still he's in a lot of pain and these you know these are painful procedures that's not unheard of his pain level tells us how deep and how much we can get out we got about 50 and then he started feeling pretty much everything i was doing so we stopped we're going to let this absorb let the antibiotic do its job and see him in 48 hours and then again in about 10 7 to 10 days so thanks for popping by that was a more painful one that we've done in a while um, but he should feel way better within just a couple days so that's it guys